everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling, and welcome to the episode 3 of my Chaos Space Marines painting series. This episode is on Night Lords. The first color we're using is Cantor Blue over a black undercoat. I also applied the basing material now, so it would be dry by the time we got to washing and painting the basing material. Just take your time picking out all the flat armor panels and trying to avoid the trim, but don't worry too much about it, as the trim is uh, going to be painted gold, which will paint over the blue just fine, though I do prefer to try and keep it sort of clean. There's some detail on his shins, and painting over that is just fine, as we'll be painting over it with uh, another bluish color later. Here's what it looks like after two thin coats, a nice smooth finish. And the next color we're using is uh, Nuln Oil. And Nuln Oil is uh, just a black wash. You can use any black wash you want. I just used Nuln Oil. I had it available. Paint this all over the miniature, uh, just to bring the blue down to a darker shade and help uh, pick out some of that detail. I also applied this to the basing material, which I personally used Vallejo's uh, Earth Mud Texture, I believe is what it's called, Dark Earth. Uh, and that's just to help darken it down a little bit. I think a dark uh, base works well with their color scheme. Even though it's a dark blue, it's still blue and gold, which is quite punchy. So I went with a dark base. The next color we're using, uh, using speaking of, uh, is the Retributor Armor, which is a dark gold. And you want to paint this all over the trim. Uh, I started with the big left shoulder pad, which is mainly gold, with the vent being a lead belcher later. Uh, so paint this all around the trim and around the intakes of the jump pack, uh, and make sure the paint's just not too thin. As you can see here, I did it by accident. Yeah, just uh, make sure the paint's not too thin, and apply it in two thin coats if need be, and then uh, let the model dry. It, I do recommend batch painting these, as it will make the painting process much quicker than just painting a single one. But again, I'm not going to paint an entire box of Night Lords. I personally don't play Night Lords, but wanted to give a good tutorial for beginners on how to paint them. You can see me sped up, painting it all. I also painted the sigil on his chest, his belt buckle. Even though those aren't like technically the trim, I also painted those. And later down the line, we will be painting the trim on the chainsaw with this color. I also painted the boots blue, as I forgot to do in the first step. The next step is using a white, uh, whether that be paint or ink. I use ink as I prefer it. It's just a bit easier to be applied, but white scar would also work. Just make sure it's thinned properly. And paint this over the lightning bolt detail on his shins. Uh, if your model doesn't have these, obviously you don't need to do it. I just found it would be slightly easier to work with to do this. As the next step is painting those characteristics lightning bolts that the Night Lord's armor is pretty much known for, I'd say. It's their most unique feature. As uh, there's a few other blue uh, legions and legions that use gold as their metallic. But anyways, the next step is painting those uh, lightning bolts. And we start with Glacier Blue which is a very light blue from Vallejo. Basically, just gently run your brush, a brush that holds a good tip, over your armor with just a small amount of the light blue on it. It can be time consuming, but just brace your hands and take your time. Uh, as you can see, my hands are a little shaky here, and it's a bit hard getting it at these armwood angles. But still, it's not very hard, uh, once you get the hang of it. And the more models you paint, the better they'll become at it. I just did a few here and there on big armor panels to add that sort of lightning bolt aesthetic. It's a very striking aesthetic, so doing it's definitely worth it, but don't be too intimidated, as even if it's sort of more of a cartoonish appearance, it still looks quite nice. And as you do more, and for maybe bigger characters, you can work more on making them very thin and sort of uh, strikey. Anyways. Uh, here's me sped up, painting the rest of them. I painted a couple on his upper legs, and uh, that's where I left it. I didn't feel there was enough space to do proper ones, though I'd recommend doing them on the jump pack if you're feeling confident with them. I feel that would be quite a nice look for raptors, which are decent in Night Lords, I'd say. One of their better units. Anyways, that wraps up the lightning bolt step, as you can see here. Just adding a couple here and there just adds to the effect. And then the uh, next paint we're using is a lead belcher. Uh, you just want to paint all the metallics this. It's pretty standard. As you'll see here, lead belcher. Painting with lead belcher, just one coat over the black works quite well. So the blades on the chainsword, the intakes and outtakes of the jump pack, uh, the harness on his chest, 
and the metallics on his bolt pistol, except the ring on the gun casing itself. We'll be painting that gold later. Same with the casing on his uh, chainsword. So just work your way around and paint all this, and then uh, just make sure you get it all. If you want to, you could paint in the joints this color. I I've done that a couple times. I think it can work quite well with a heavy wash, but regardless. Uh, yep, just, you know, go around, make sure you get everything. And then after this step, I did a bit of a uh, correction step, and what I mean by that is uh, going around and picking out any gold I missed, like on the gloves, uh, and uh, painting silver anywhere I missed. I also painted the weapons casing black at this step, as I felt it just made sense. The black weapon casing is very uh, generic, it works with all the legions. Here's what it looks like, painting up the gold trim again, uh, and making sure everything's well painted. From there, we're pretty much done. We only have left the eyes, which uh, I used red, uh, more specifically Mephiston red. Again, just brace your hands together and uh, paint in those eye slots. Cantor blue is a very strong color, so any overspill is easy to fix. And that about finishes the armor. You could leave it here. But personally, I like to wash the gold with uh, a brown wash, and I personally, in this video, use uh, Agrax Earthshade, as you'll see here. Agrax Earthshade. Doing that, I painted it over all the blue, uh, not the blue, sorry, not the blue. Uh, I used this all over the gold, which added a very nice, uh, deep, warm finish to the gold. Uh, and I painted it all over the chainsword, just to keep the wash unified on that part of it. Uh, just take your time, go around, and then leave it uh, 15 minutes to dry if there's any corrections you need to make, as you'll see here in a moment. I'll speed up. And then, you're pretty much done. Uh, this guy only took probably about 45 minutes of hands-on painting time. Uh, if you do it, it took a little longer because of the lightning bolts. But once you get it down to a science, you'll be cranking these guys out in 45 minutes easily. And that's the final result. Anyways, if you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see the rest of this series and all the videos I'm going to do in July. Next up is Red Corsairs, and then the finale will be Emperor's Children. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I've been your host, Spoons Rattling. See ya!